hey guys how are you guys doing i hope you guys are well um i just want to say and no i'm not speeding i'm literally driving the speed limit right now it just looks like that on a camera it looks different on the camera than it does in the real moment basically um so you know i was talking to god last night and um he gave me a message and he wants me to pass this message to you guys and he said keep your head high keep your head up keep your head up and it was almost like one of those you already know what to expect type of conversations it's almost like okay what are you even surprised you know i, I just want to remind you guys that remember that whenever you're close to some sort of breakthrough or you're close to achieving something great or god is close is close god is close to blessing you that's when the the warfare is always turned up a notch and that's when the devil is always going to try to throw you off your path throw you off your focus and that's where a lot of distractions usually come in so many of you guys that's what it is like many of us are really close to something new and it's so true because before every single breakthrough i've received i noticed that i would go through some crazy warfare <laughs> i would go through some crazy warfare for like a week straight or a week and a half straight and then it would calm down and then something would happen beautiful would happen and then it would calm down again and then crazy warfare again and then sometimes something would happen right after the warfare or in the midst of the warfare remember i tell you guys sometimes god can bless you in the midst of your warfare right but the reason why the devil attacks us right before we're about to receive a blessing is because when god blesses us or when god encourages us or when god gives us a breakthrough something that's going to motivate because every time we get a breakthrough we get motivated you know that right we, we get motivated when something beautiful happens it's almost like a motivation to keep going right the devil tries to get us to feel discouraged right before that so we don't continue what god needs us to do so we don't have the mood we're not in the mood to do what god needs us to do and seriously it's really a distraction that's why he does it to distract you right so god said continue to be positive continue to keep your head high because not just myself but many of us have so much to look forward to so much to look forward to like you know and we should not be surprised you know what i mean that's how that's how the enemy operates right so just continue to be positive and hold your head high you have a lot to look forward to and i do have um because when i prayed to god last night he told me to read first kings i said okay so I did. I started reading First Kings, and then I received a message out of it, relating to this message that I'm telling you guys now, and breakthroughs and everything. And remember in that passage in like First Kings, the first half of First Kings, how you know Samuel, not Samuel, sorry, Solomon, asked God for wisdom, and God blessed him with wisdom, and he was so obedient. God gave him more than what he even asked for. And that's what's actually going to happen. So that's for a whole nother video. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a heads up for that video that, you know, the enemy knows. The enemy knows. And I was telling someone this yesterday um, during a coaching session. I literally said to her that a lot of the times our enemies know when there's something in store for us. Why do you think as soon as there's a, as soon as a breakthrough is about to happen, you get attacked? do you think it's only because the devil's attacking you no yes that's a part of it but it's because the devil is going to also use people to attack you too because before something beautiful happens to you things will be revealed to people about what's next for you what your breakthrough is people will dream about it they'll see it they'll smell it <laughs> you know and they just know when something's about to shift in your life people just know and if someone is consistently obsessed with you as in like a witch or a warlock or someone who participates in stuff like that and they're looking in your life every single day best believe they're going to be able to pick up on 
new things that are coming in for you thing tables turning for you they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna see that god is gonna bless you and you know when you're obsessed about someone you also dream about them a lot so if someone's obsessed with you that's believe they're gonna dream about your next breakthrough you they may even know more about your next breakthrough than you do let's keep it real they may know more about your blessings than you do half of the times god just tells us what he needs us to know he doesn't even tell us the full details. He just gives us glimpses and pieces. But half of the times, our enemies know more about our breakthroughs than we do. And that happens a lot. So you may be expecting a lot. No, not a lot more. You may be expecting something and God may bless you a lot more than what you expect. And they may be able to see the a lot more that's coming in that you don't even know that you have, right? And that also is what turns warfare up a notch because now when they see what God is about to do for you, it triggers them. It triggers them and it makes them, okay, I'm going to go step it up with the ritual. I'm going to go pay this person more money now. You know, I'm going to, you go, you, go, you see what I'm saying? Like, it, it's like a trigger for them to see that something else is coming in for you, right? So that happens a lot, okay? So I just want to give you guys a heads up of that too, that this is why whenever you're about to receive something good or you've already received something good, you notice that warfare is like really crazy around the time because not only is the devil attacking you, but he is using people as well and they can see, okay? They can see what's coming in for you. So I want to give you guys a heads up. God said, keep your head up, continue pushing forward, continue going. Don't stop. A lot of you guys, you didn't come this far for you to stop. You didn't. You didn't, you didn't fight all your life. You get what I'm saying? Fight all your life to just give up now. You know? And you have to remember something. God had everyone in the Bible waiting for some time. Everyone had to wait for God. And everybody had to be obedient and wait on him to give them what it is he has promised them. So we're not excluded either. We have to wait too. But in the midst of waiting... We are going to go through some ups and downs that's going to discourage us and make us want to shift our path or, you know, take matters in our own hands and go against what God told us to do. And you know what I mean? And we can't let that get to us because then it's almost like you went through all what you went through for vain and you did it. You went through it to gain experience and wisdom, but you don't want to self-sabotage yourself in the process of that. You want to use that wisdom and experience as a part of your testimony so when you receive what god has for you you can be like man while i was waiting on god to give me this this is what i had to go through this is what i learned from it you know in order for you guys to educate the youth and the upcoming children in christ right so i just want to say and i'm taking this advice myself because sometimes god will just say one word to me and then he just starts pouring wisdom in me <laughs> and i don't even know i'm like okay god i'm taking this myself too but just keep going y'all okay i'm gonna be back later with the other message i do have a prophetic word for someone it does tie to like relate to the keep it word god gave me additional details on the keep it message of relating to someone's pregnancy he gave me more details last night i'm not gonna lie i was a little bit heartbroken when i saw this but like i said when i receive certain messages from god i know he gives me certain things because my my feet were in this person's shoes at one point in my life so i i know what they're going through or going to go through i've experienced it so i've received wisdom from it so i'm able to i'm able to deliver the message in a way where i can help them understand you know so i, I i'll record it later but if you are someone that resonate with that keep it message and you are expecting um please pay attention to the next message okay and um keep your head up this is for you too keep your head up everyone keep your head up keep pushing keep thriving i love you guys i'll see you later bye